Okay, now, uh, we've, we've went over quite a few fundamentals actually on the chess demo board, but if you can remember one of our lessons, we talked about the value of each chess piece, okay? And what we're going to do at this, in this segment is we're going to go over what we've labeled and titled chess math, where we take the value of each piece and we add a mathematical symbol. Okay, now all in, in remembering and learning how to work these mathematical equations, one thing you must remember is the value of the pieces. Now normally I'll write the value of those pieces down, but what I want to do today is I want to work on your memorization, which is one of the tools, uh, life skills that you're going to need to be successful in life as well as a good chess player. So I want you to remember that the king is worth nine, the rook is worth five, the bishops and knights are worth three, and the pawns are worth one. All right, I know your question. How much is the king worth? Well, the king is priceless, okay? It is the most important piece on the board, and the queen is the most valuable piece on the board according to is value in number, okay? Now, once, once, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first letter of each piece, and that's gonna represent that piece. For example, B is gonna represent bishop, uh, Q is gonna represent queen, rook is gonna represent R, KN will represent knight, P will represent pawn, and then K will represent king. So you know, as I review again and before we go into it, um, queen is nine, rook is five, bishops and knights are three, pawns are one, king is priceless. B is bishop, K N is knight, Q is queen, R is rook. Those are the first letters of each one of those pieces, and P is pawn. So we're gonna start out slow and then and then and, and and pick up momentum as we go. Now the reason why we go into math is because chess associates itself with math more than any other subject. And we can use the four cores of chess because of the value of the the four cores of math because of the value of the pieces to create equations. So I'm gonna label this chess math. Okay, and um, we've already went over the value of the pieces. We'll review again. Queen is nine, bishops and knights are three, rooks are five, pawns are one. Okay, and the king, I know you're asking the question, the king is priceless. It's the most uh, important piece on the board. It has to be protected at all times. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the first letter of each piece and that's gonna represent the piece. For example, B will represent bishop, KN will represent knight, Q will represent queen, R will represent rook, and K will represent king, and P will represent pawn. So what we're gonna do is take the first letter of each piece, put a mathematical symbol to it, and create an equation. For example, B plus K N equals. Now we're now we're doing addition. Okay, so uh, the B equals what three, and the K N equals what three. So our answer would be what six. Very simple. Okay, or we can go R, and we're gonna use a multiplication sign. Now we're gonna use R times um, times Q. Okay, I'll just go in, I'll just, we'll make it a little bit harder. Now we're using the multiplication sign, and if you remember the multiplication sign, uh, what piece moves like the multiplication sign? Uh-huh, mm -hmm. working on your memorization. I'll answer that question for you. The bishop moves like the multiplication sign. What piece moves like the plus sign? And we went over this in the first section, okay? The rook moves like the plus sign, okay? So as we move forward, we have R. R equals what? Five. And then Q equals what? Nine. 
And then nine times five is what? 45. Okay? Those are your basic, uh, those are, these are your basic equations in, in test math. So let's do uh, subtraction. Let's do Q minus. Uh, Q minus P. Very simple equation there. Q minus P would equal what? The Q is worth what? Nine. The P is worth one. Nine minus one would equal what? Eight. Now the reason why I like test math so much is that it prepares you or gets you ready for algebra even at, in the first grade. Because algebra collects or integrates letters and numbers in equation form to come out with an answer. Okay, it's a, it's a formula with letters and numbers. This is the same concept, okay? And we can take test map all the way into algebra, which we, which we won't do today, but it can, it can uh, relate all the way, geometry, trigonometry, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so now we've used the plus sign, we use the multiplication sign, we use the minus sign. Okay, now we're going to look a little bit deeper. Okay, what if I wrote the equation like this? 3R plus 3B. Okay, equation is written a little bit different now. Okay, but we're still using an, an, an addition sign, okay? So 3R would be what? 15, okay, you're correct. And 3B would be what? Nine, correct? And what would your answer be? Give me the answer. What would your answer be? 24. 24, okay? So now we're in the equation if it was written up similar to the liking of, uh, of algebra, then this would be in parentheses. Okay? Now, uh, let's go a little bit further. We're going to integrate all three of these mathematical symbols into one equation. Okay, now we're going to use, we're going to use all three symbols. We're going to use the, um, the multiplication symbol, the addition symbol, and the subtraction symbol. And we're going to create an equation. So we're going to say um, Kn times P plus R minus B, okay, equals. Now we're using all three of the uh, of your course mathematical symbols, okay? So if we say Kn, which equals what? Three. If we say Kn times P, that would be what? Three times one. Three times one equals what? Three. So three times one equals three. And then we'll go three plus five equals, I had that wrong, equals eight, okay? And then eight minus three equals what? Five, okay? Those are your, this is, this is called chess math. And it helps with your, um, with your memorization, it helps with your addition, it helps with your subtraction, it helps with your multi multi multiplication. We usually use this, uh, for grade levels one through six. Okay, so again, we have to get another sheet of paper. This is simply chess math. And what we're doing is, um, we're, we're showing you how the value of the pieces equate or can equate in mathematical equations. So if I look on this sheet, what do we, well, we just do it like this. We'll put in parentheses 2kn times uh, what you got, Dr. Paul? 2B. Uh, 2B? P. 2P? Yes, sir. In parentheses, plus what? What you had back there. What do we have? Uh, 2R. 2R minus. Ooh. All right. 
Um, what do we have in there? Because we we'll usually say minus B. All right. And we'll just say uh, my writing is bad, but minus one B. And we'll and we'll just put the equal sign here. Okay. Now in, in this in this first parenthesis we have two K N, and we know that two K N equals what? Two K N equals six. Because KN stands for night, and one night is three, so if you have two KNs, you have six. And so now we have a multiplication sign, and we have two P. We know P equals one, we have two, so in parentheses, you, could have, you would have two, and so six times two would equal what? Twelve. Twelve. So now you have twelve in your mind, twelve plus what? Plus two R. 2R would equal what? 10. Okay? So 12 plus 10 would be what? 22. 22. Look at Dr. Paul. He knows his mathematics. <laughs> 22. And so now we go to the next parentheses and we have 1B. So 1B, uh, and that's a minus sign, so 22 minus 1B is what? 22 minus 3 is 19. 19. So now you have the answer, and you've used all three of your core major symbols, um, and you've also used the value of each chess piece. You've created this equation by using the first letter of each piece, which is what we call chess math. Let's do one more, but with division this time. 2Q divided by N equals, sorry, KN, 2 times Q, Q is 9, 2 times 9, 18, mm -hmm. divided by KN, KN is 3, 18 divided by 3 is 6, six. but let's not stop there. Let's think about how we can think about six with chess pieces. How many pawns can go into six? If you said six, you were right. How many KN would go into six? Two. If you said two, you were right. How many bishops would go into six? If you said two, you were right. 